Hello everyone and welcome back to the next part of my Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Challenge. Okay, well, now I changed something in the settings of my recording software and I, and I put the priority to the highest and hopefully it will be a bit more smooth, if you know what I mean. Anyways, now, um, yeah, before I really start this, I just want to ask your opinion about the Elemental Monkeys. Because if you can, re yeah, you can possibly remember from the last episode, I got the Grass Monkey. Uh, I forgot his name, but he, uh, what do you think about those Elemental Monkeys? I think that they're bad and useless. And they just look ugly as fuck. So uh, that's my opinion. What is your opinion about them? I would like to know. So please leave a comment about that, okay? So anyways, uh, if you might also remember, I had to go to the trainer school to find the gym leader or something. Because he should be in the gym, but he wasn't. Oh, and I can see my rival standing there. Before I want to uh, talk to him, he might challenge me for a battle. So I will put out my grass Pokemon up front. Because he picked the water Pokemon. Because I have the fire one. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk to, to this guy now. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Hey Arno, have you come looking for the gym leader? Yes, that is the reason why I'm here, otherwise I would not enter a school. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago, or moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him? No, I did not. By the way Arno, will you have a Pokemon battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battle. Oh my god, are you gonna use items like potions and stuff? Ugh, are you gonna turn into a bitch as well? Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without them. Uh, yeah, maybe you should do that. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Okay then, well, this is my rival Sharon. <laughs> the one who picked Oshawott, the water type. Okay, let's see what you got in store for me. An Oshawott. You know what, I'm going to pause the video because I don't want this episode to last too long. Um... So yeah, I will just show all the Pokemon he has, and then I will pause the video, and when the Pokemon is defeated, then I will continue recording, and stuff like that. Like, it, there is, yeah, you won't miss anything. I will just do little vine whips and stuff. He will probably use some potions, because he mentioned them. And as you can see, the grass Pokemon is very effective against water. Okay, so now I will pause the video. Oh my god, stupid berry. Wait, anyways, that's what I would, yeah, that, that's what I meant with the items and stuff. As you can see, now I'm going to have to hit him twice more, so, um... Yeah, that's why I hate this. And Oshawott now fainted. Okay then. <laughs> he did a little, uh, yeah, he did a little damage, but not too much. Now he sends out a Purloin. Uh, I'll just stick to this Pokemon for some reason. Or, or actually, I should have, I should have picked my Tepic because, um, yeah, you know what? I'll explain later. You will see. Well, now I'm going to kill this Purloin. I will be right back. And Perlon is now defeated. Well, um, yeah. So why why did I have to pick my Tepig? Uh, that is because I need I want to train him a little bit because I think my Pokemon are quite under leveled, if you know what I mean. Anyways, yes, you have to train a lot harder, Sharon. Now continue being a nerd and stay in this school and never bother me again. So learning items to use. Uh, well, what am I saying? So you so learning to use items well is definitely important then. Uh, I suppose so. Oh, here, no, I'll give you this berries. Okay, then. Give me your Auron berries, bitch. They cure my HP a little, like 10 HP, so it's not too handy. But it's handy to have in to have in my bag, I guess. If But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to haul, they can't use them in battle. Well, good luck then. Okay, then. Thank you for disturbing me. Now, let's go outside, and now let's challenge the gym leader, I suppose. But first, I'll pause the video and go to the Pokemon Center. Okay, well, this is a gym. I can see a green-haired guy here. Yes? Yes, I'm a gym leader of this town. You are? Oh, right, you want to challenge a gym? Yes, that's why I'm here, actually. In that case, what was your first Pokémon you chose? Tepig, I see. It's weak against water-type Pokémon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Uh, okay, so uh, I'll, I'll do a little bit of explaining. Um, this gym has three different gym leaders, uh, depending on what starter Pokémon you picked then the gym leader will have uh, an advantage towards your starter Pokemon. So it'll be the water gym leader in this, uh, yeah, now, because I picked the fire Pokemon. Anyways, this is a nerd type of guy. Hello, I'm Clyde. Hi, Clyde. I'm the guide for, for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Okay, then. Oh, he gives me water. I always wanted water. Thank you so much. Okay, then. <laughs> Okay, well, now let's go onwards, I guess. Uh, I put my Tepic up front, and oh, there is a fire type, yeah, fire thing on the curtain, so I will pick the water. Because I have to pick the button that has the advantage against the curtain, if you know what I mean. I know it's a bit silly, but 
it, that's how it is. <laughs> Anyways, let's challenge this person. <sighs> okay, I, I will again pause the video, but first I'll show you what Pokemon he has. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. Oh, so it's, it's like going to a restaurant, that's cool. I don't, I don't really see many customers sitting here eating. Well, <laughs> I don't really care. Anyways, he sends out a lily pup. Let's see, what level? Oh my god, you're level 11. My Pokemon are so underleveled at the moment. But I will pause the video. Uh, Lilypup should be dead in a second without my Ignisho being dead, hopefully. Unless he critical hits me, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, Lilypup is now dead, and it was a very close call, actually. Now, my Ignisho only has 9 HP left, so I, I definitely have to train my Pokemon before I face a gym leader. But first, I'll just defeat the Poke. Yeah, the gym trainer's in here. Anyways, I'm a trainer with a lot of pepper. I don't know whether that's a compliment or not. But anyways, thank you for the money. I will pause the video, go to the Pokemon Center, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Now, on the curtain there is a water symbol, so I'm going to step on the grass one, because grass has an advantage uh, over water Pokemon. <laughs> I know. It's quite stupid, actually. But yeah, this is a stupid game, in my opinion. I, I, I prefer the old games better, but yeah. Let's just go onwards. Hey, hello, trainer. What do you have in store for me? The, the specialty of Strides and Gym, the full course, Trainer Deluxe. Okay then, I'm your second course. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting a full meal of Pokemon battles, that's great. Waitress Tia. Okay, and he sends out a Patrat. I'm going to pause video, Patrat will be dead in a second. Okay, Patrat is now dead. I am now level 12, which is great. I, I need to level up my Pokemon a bit. I'm going to level them all up to level 11 or 12 off-screen. And then I will challenge a gym leader in the next episode. Okay, well. <laughs> he sends out a Purloin now. I will pause the video. Purloin will be dead in a second. And Purloin has now fainted. Okay, then. <laughs> and now I'm almost level 13. That's great. He's going to be level 13 in the next episode. That was one of our most popular dishes. Did you enjoy the meal? Yes, I did. But I'm not gonna pay for it. <laughs> okay, now it is a grass symbol. I will push the fire button and I can see that there is a stair there. So I'm probably going to have to, to battle the gym leader now. Yes, I can see the gym leader there. So I'm going to uh, yeah, end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and see you guys in the next episode.